Generative AI is a type of artificial intelligence that can create a wide variety of data, such as images, videos, audio, text, and 3D models. It can also answer any question, generate any image, and plan any trip for you. Sounds amazing, right? That's why Google has just launched a new chatbot that is powered by generative AI. It's called Google Gemini, and it's the ultimate tool for your creativity and productivity. In this video, you will learn what generative AI is, how it works, and what it can do for you. If you want to know more about Google Gemini and generative AI, then keep watching, because this video is for you. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest videos. What is Google Gemini and how does it use generative AI? Google Gemini is a chatbot that you can access through Google Assistant, Google Search, or Google Messages. It's designed to be your personal assistant, your creative partner, and your source of entertainment. You can ask it anything you want, and it will try to give you the best answer possible. But unlike other chatbots, Google Gemini can also generate data for you, such as images, videos, audio, text, and 3D models. It does this by using generative AI, which is a type of AI that can create new and unique outputs from existing data. How does generative AI work? Well, generative AI uses a technique called deep learning, which is a way of teaching machines to learn from data. Deep learning uses artificial neural networks, which are mathematical models that mimic the structure and function of the human brain. These neural networks can learn patterns and features from large amounts of data, and then use this knowledge to generate new and novel outputs. For example, a generative AI system can learn from thousands of images of faces, and then create a new face that doesn't exist in the real world. Or it can learn from millions of words and sentences, and then write a new text that is coherent and meaningful. Generative AI is different from traditional AI systems, which are usually based on rules and logic. Traditional AI systems can only do what they are programmed to do, and they can't create anything new or unexpected. Generative AI systems, on the other hand, can go beyond the data they are given and create something original and surprising. They can also adapt to new situations and contexts and learn from feedback and interactions. Google Gemini uses generative AI to provide you with the best answers and outputs possible. It can understand your natural language, your context, and your intent, and it can generate data that is relevant, accurate, and personalized. It can also learn from your preferences, your history, and your feedback, and improve over time. Google Gemini is not just a chatbot, it's a generative AI chatbot. Now that you know what Google Gemini is and how it uses generative AI, let's take a look at some of the amazing features and capabilities it has to offer. Google Gemini can do many things for you, but here are some of the most impressive ones. It can be your advanced translator, it can translate any text or speech from one language to another, and it can do it better than Google Translate. That's because Google Gemini can understand the nuance and context of the language, and it can generate translations that are more natural and accurate. For example, if you want to translate a text from English to Arabic, you can simply ask Google Gemini to do it for you, and it will give you a translation that preserves the meaning and tone of the original text. Or if you want to translate a speech from Arabic to English, you can just speak to Google Gemini, and it will give you a translation that sounds fluent and clear. It can also generate an image of anything you can imagine. All you have to do is describe what you want to see in vivid and detailed text, and it will create an image that matches your description. For example, if you want to see an image of a dragon flying over a castle, you can just type or say, a dragon flying over a castle to Google Gemini and it will generate an image that looks realistic and stunning. Or if you want to see an image of yourself with a different hairstyle, you can just type or say me with a different hairstyle to Google Gemini, and it will generate an image that shows how you would look with a different hairstyle. 
Google Gemini can also plan a trip for you by interacting with various Google services all on its own. It can help you find the best destination, the best time, the best flight, the best hotel, the best activities, and the best budget for your trip. All you have to do is tell Google Gemini where you want to go, when you want to go, and what you want to do, and it will do the rest for you. For example, if you want to go to Paris in April, you can just type or say, I want to go to Paris in April to Google Gemini, and it will give you a detailed itinerary that includes the best flight options, the best hotel options, the best attractions, and the best restaurants in Paris. It will also give you the total cost of your trip and the best way to book everything. As you can see, Google Gemini and Generative AI are very powerful and useful tools that can enhance your life in many ways. But they also come with some challenges and opportunities that we need to be aware of and address. Here are some of the most important ones. One of the challenges of it and Generative AI is the quality and reliability of the data they generate. How can we trust that the data they generate is accurate, relevant, and appropriate? How can we verify that the data they generate is not biased, misleading, or harmful? How can we ensure that the data they generate is not infringing on any intellectual property rights, privacy rights, or ethical standards? These are some of the questions that we need to ask and answer when we use Google Gemini and Generative AI and we need to have some mechanisms and guidelines to ensure the quality and reliability of the data they generate. Another challenge of Google Gemini and Generative AI is the impact and responsibility of the data they generate. How can we use the data they generate for good and not for evil? How can we prevent the data they generate from being misused, abused, or exploited by malicious actors? How can we protect the data they generate from being hacked, stolen, or corrupted? How can we ensure that the data they generate is not harming or offending anyone or anything? These are some of the questions that we need to ask and answer when we use Google Gemini and Generative AI, and we need to have some policies and regulations to ensure the impact and responsibility of the data they generate. Google Gemini and Generative AI are not just tools. They are also partners. They can help us achieve our goals, but they can also challenge us to think critically and responsibly. They can give us answers, but they can also raise questions. They can generate data, but they can also generate value. They can change the way we interact with data, and they can also change the way we interact with the world. That's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed learning about Google Gemini and Generative AI, and we hope you will try them out for yourself. Google Gemini is available through Google Assistant, Google Search, or Google Messages, and you can use it to do anything you want. It is also available through other platforms and applications, and you can use it to create anything you want. Google Gemini and Generative AI are the future of data. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos on technology, science, and other topics. And don't forget to leave your comments and questions below, and we will try to answer them as soon as possible. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.